so anyway I'm going to fuck about with this um, the old SV back in the old um, doing something with it I bypassed the tank a little bit because I need to run it but the tank's leaking but anyway so i got to sort out the charging I believe it to be the regulator well I know it's a regulator because I've cheated and checked it already um, so what I'm going to do is show you the different ways of checking out that the field windings are alright in the stator and then how to modify a CBR 600 regulator to fit an SV so it don't catch fire which is good because fire is bad where's me have a multimeter here it is so you can check the windings either by doing a resistance reading between the windings um, in the service manual for the machine there'll be a figure that will show you the resistance I don't have the service manual so I don't know but I can tell you there's continuity between the wire windings which is a good thing and there is some resistance and the resistance all sort of balances out equal so that's as good as saying it's alright the other way to do it I have to change multimeters here because this one don't do AC the other way to do it put your multimeter onto AC and just stab it in there and see what voltage it makes because before the regulator rectifier it's unrectified so a AC voltage and it's unregulated so it's anything that it makes so we get that one so it's on AC with a little squiggly line alternating current just stab that in two of them and then fire it up and see what it does so you see making 22 volts at idle if I rev it anything up to 100 on those windings put it between them two same reading and between these two again same reading so, if you can see what I was doing you'd see that or hear what I was saying it's really quiet this bike that in between all three poles you can see the voltage was racing up to anywhere near like a hundred volt AC which means the stator is generating power which is good enough for me to say that the stator works so it was the rectifier that was fried so that's on to the next bit fitting a rectifier I don't know there's a way of checking the rectifier if it pokes out like fucking 25 volts to the battery the rectifier is fucked if it pokes out no voltage to the battery either the rectifier or rectifier or wiring is knackered and with an SV it's a good idea to change the rectifier because they like to set bikes on fire anyway so with the rectifiers the SV one this is the old SV one and that is the new CBR one the plugs are different so that was the CBR's plug that comes from the stator so it's got the three yellow wires and that is the SV one that I sold along to the end of it so that's your ins this does fucking space age magic and spits 14-ish volts out there won't ever really go higher than 14 or lower than 12 so now I've just got to plug it if I plug this in now and measure the voltage out of there out of that one there I will know that it's rectifying and charging properly so again three yellow wires of the ins I've modified that with the SV plug yet to modify the out to go to the SV out into the loom that will give it a quick go uh, I think it was at 07 the part number that you need is FH800 uh, FH008EE it's a MOSFET regulator. You can get an 012EE as well, which are apparently a bit cheaper. Um, numbers, I don't know. One's off a Triumph, 
ones off of uh, Honda. So for this we're going to use multimeter again, but on DC voltage this time. So I shouldn't be seeing any higher than 14. So 20 volt is a safe thing to check it on. I'm going to put my terminals straight in there. And then fire the bike up again. So if you watch that, you'll see what the voltage does. And I'd say that it was rectifying perfectly. It was showing a little high, but there's no load on it. So the load with the rest of the electrical circuit on it will bring down what is spitting out. What I also need to check is try and figure out which one's earth and which one's live, or which one's negative and which one's positive coming out of this. Because it's got green and red, or brown and green, or purple and orange, who knows, on color blind. It's got two different colors that aren't the same two different colours as these two different colours. So, do some science and fire it up again. Just, just check what way around my multimeter is. Check if actually red is positive. Red is positive. So I'm going to go on a hunch that green is going to be negative and this thing that I'm seeing as red is going to be positive. So as soon as I crank it, if it's the wrong way around, it will show negative voltage. So you see that's showing positive voltage. So safe to assume that this wire is the earth. But I'll swap it around anyway. Just to prove my point. Or prove myself wrong. Either way it's going to work, isn't it? It's already showing a negative. There we go. Negative 14. Sorted. So green is negative. Green is negative. Remember that, Connor? Green ground. Green, green grass. Are high. So I, I'm going to try and wire this back into the SV loom like it should do. And in theory, fucking glorious magic will happen and this battery will charge. However, the loom could be. not very good so but there I have checked continuity between these wires and those wires so in theory it should spit voltage back down there just fine and work and just be all hunky dory and happy and hold hands so I'm going to be a bit of wiring he did yeah. yeah he said yeah We'll send. He said to me, "Yeah, it's good. Yeah, we'll send you. You have a V5 in two weeks." What I got in two weeks was a letter saying you won't have a V5 in two weeks because I got to get it roadworthy, finish my restoration, prove that it's roadworthy, and then they'll give me a V5. Does Mark sixty? Apparently, it does. Mm, I'm going to plug this in. We should start a Patreon. Why don't we have a Patreon? People could buy me fags. I thought your mate he was going to bring some back. And we are going to sort out a deal and it was going to be all yeah. good. He's not the one who's croaked, is he? Is that the other side? Ah. Right, have, you, have you ever been into um, Crocker Street? No. I've never been into Crocker Street. Ah, should see if it charges. It's all plugged in and shit like an SV now, but with a CBR 600 rectifier. Moment of truth. We got some wiring, fucking. It's charging! What? Well, it's not bolted on.
It's got like 13 and a bit volts going into the chicken. Ooh. Fixed it. It's charging. Oh, hang on. This person's trying to have a rev off. Did you hear him putting their little car on the limiter? Did you hear me? Should we win? Should we win? They're funny. Should we win? They're funny. I win. <laughs> I win the. I win the whose penis is the smallest contest, and it's mine. <laughs>